Hey guys, I want to talk to you about Gyutaku. Uh, this is a old school style of artwork that was not art back then. It was more of taking a picture and showing your fish. I caught the fish. So this is the first one that we did here and some details that I noted about it, just because it's like a history. Um, I put the boat that we were on, the date that it was on and the group of guys that I was with, Gear Junkies. So we did the same thing. We just went again on the Polaris Supreme uh, early this month and I caught myself a single bony, caught a little baby shark too, but we gave that back uh, obviously to Poseidon. But this is a great way to relive your memory, um, putting some details about that fish on top of the artwork itself. So on top of that, you know, it's a, it's a pretty nice piece. I still have to do it, right? Even though it's a single fish, I put some details about it. This was 10 pounds scaled when I brought it home, gut and gilled. I had a brand new wrap rod by Jason No. He did this awesome detail on the, my Terminator and I caught it on a Valiant on 50 pound fly line. And the reason I wrote that, I mean, I, I'm going to remember that even though this fish was small, it was so squirrely. It still took line on 50 pound setup. And we do the same thing on these other ones right here. This is some bluefin tuna that I caught along with on the last three day I went with the gear junkie guys. I went on early summer for a white sea bass trip with them as well. I completely skunked out on this trip, but they were grateful enough to share with me one white sea bass and I split it with another guy who also skunked out. I brought home the tail and it's an appreciation that says these guys are able to still provide for my family even though I caught nothing. So here we have a yellowfin tuna, my first one I ever caught. And I was like, man, dude, these things were squirrely as heck. 45 pound, uh, two times yellowfin tuna on a custom wrap Jason No rod that my wife got for me Christmas some many years ago on a Tessero 10S. The uh, second one was on a jig, TD TLC, Pentorque, 60 pound. So it's a great way to relive the memory, put some notes about it so that you can tell the story and you're going to remember it a lot more clear because, you know, after X amount of years, you're going to forget all those little details. And I hope that that gives you some ideas of what Gyutaku is. Uh, if you don't know how to do it, check out Skull and Ink on Instagram. Hank there, he gave me this recommendation of using this rice paper. I still haven't used it. I've been doing it my only the way that I knew how because I just did it. But Hank is a master of this craft and he'll give you a lot more tips or do it from him because he does it really well already.